Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Dr. Juan Ramon Aviles Morales of Taino DNA and Genealogy, and today I will be going over how to do an admixture analysis on GenMatch. All right, we're going to log in. And this is the homepage login. Um, once you logged in for GenMatch, uh, you can go and find under the DNA applications, look at the admixture right here, heritage. There's another option, which is a more complicated one, but for simple uh, admixture analysis, which is your heritage or uh, where you're geographically, where your ancestors might have been from, uh, this analysis, you can select this option right here. All right, so I click there. Uh, there are multiple uh, formats or programs that you can use. Um, MDLP is one that's quite uh, popular, uh, but for European and Native American uh, admixture, I use Eurogenes. So select there, and then what you're going to do is click continue. Oh, this is something new. So let me answer this. Uh, Patcha here. Hopefully it'll let me in. There we go. All right. So enter your kit number. This is my own. And then it asks you to select a calculator. So I use K36, Eurogenes K36. Click on that. And you can enter your ethnicity if you so choose. All right, so then it starts calculating. It takes a few moments, so just be patient. And what this will tell you, it will give you a breakdown of uh, different European uh, breakdowns of populations within Europe. Uh, also go into um, Native American. It just lists Native American. It does not give you a generalized uh, breakdown of the American Native American population. So uh, if you are from South America, if you are from North America or Central America or the Caribbean, you're lumped into the same Native American uh, category. All right. I believe the iteration over here should be almost, I think, 900, and then I'll give you your results. All right, so here are my results. And you'll see on the left-hand side over here, you'll have your uh, breakdown. I have 12.2% Native American or Amerindian, as they have it labeled, One, almost 2% Arabic, and 2.37% Armenian, and 6% Basque. This generally is somewhat close to what I found on uh, Amazon, um, excuse me, Ancestry or uh, Family Tree DNA. There are some differences uh, and the breakdowns can be somewhat different. Gives you a sort of like a pie chart of your uh, com composition of what you are and percentage wise and you could look at the reference. So um, these are different groups that um, compose or what I am admixed from, if you will. And they have different, they have some uh, Eurasian uh, populations here. They have Iberian, Chinese, Italian, Malayan. Then they have some African, like Pygmy, and a couple other groups here represented. And that pretty much adds up to 100%. And that's just another way of you finding out what your uh, ancestry may be from the admixture, if you will. And it's a helpful tool, and you can find, uh, you can also compare other people, um, like uh, I could do here for you. Let's see, we're gonna do one other one for you guys. And that's gonna be for the NDLP. Let's do that one. And I always go for the higher K number. So, and the 
LPK23B. That's what I'm going to use. I'm going to pause it while it uploads. And we're back. And here, slightly different. As you saw earlier, I was about 12% Amerindian. Here you have 1% or 2% difference. Uh, and it goes down, breaks down to more of a generalized in regards to the Caucasian or Iberian or slash European descent and let's see what else so it's somewhat different uh, has different populations and you might get a different breakdown but overall what I found on Eurogenes was much similar to what I've encountered on the direct to consumer uh, admixture analysis from Ancestry family tree DNA, and living DNA. And I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, once again, uh, do us a favor and subscribe to our channel. We will greatly appreciate it.